with Charlie Capolo and uh, here today with Mike Salisbury filming for JK and I'm going to be showing you my go-to rig, uh, my version of the claw rig. Right, start off, take a decent healthy section of the soft core strippable 25 pound braid. Length off. Strip off a good few inches. Yeah, your hair loop. Trim off the tag. Then you want to. Take your bait for measurement. I'm going to be fishing the snowman setup. So I'm going to trim down my pop up, which, because I've used them enough, I know roughly how much to take off to get the right presentation. Couple that with bottom bait. Onto your hair. Then, all self-explanatory, take your, your hair stop. Right, so once you put your bait stop in position, the next step, you want to cut off two very small pieces of silica. One, two, really only a couple of mil long, we don't need it long at all. Just thread them. Thank you, big. Then take your hook and in this instance I'm using a size 6 T-Rex. Just put your point through the silicon tubing. Being a little bit wary, you not you'll nick the braid as you go through it. One. And a soap. And then it's just a case of tying the usual knotless knot. Tight. And this is a personal thing, but I do think it makes a difference sometimes. I'm going to use one of the large liner liners. Break that up. Just work it over the, the eye of the hook. Get it over there. Just slowly work it up. And just want to position those bits of silicon. Just one on the shank and one about halfway around the bend of the hook. That way as you can see, you get that very aggressive hooking angle. Now, I've stripped a little bit back of the off the hook, right? Only about an inch. And take yourself a healthy pinch. 
cut it. I tend to use quite a large piece because I like to I like to think that it gives the fish a problem before they even hit the lead. Just pinch that just where you've stripped back that that coat into. Roll it in your fingers, try and make it fairly streamlined. Then it is just a case then of finishing off with a figure of eight rope. Again, optional if you prefer to tie a squibber on then that's fine. I'm really making the just my preferred way of doing it. Should loop up, wait your knot. I like to use a little hook puller just to tie anything down. It's my version of the claw rig. Another little common, caught some Rotchard Res using the claw rig I showed you earlier. Let's get this one back, see if we can get another one. Okay, so Charlie's shown you one of his favourite rigs and now it's time to have a look at one of mine. The one I'm going to show you is called the multi-rig, which actually sounds quite complicated, but in actual fact, it couldn't be simpler to tie. So let's have a look at how we do it. I'm going to take some JK Anglin soft core strippable braid in the 20 pound breaking strain. So we'll take a length of that. And the first step is just going to be to tie a large overhand loop knot in the braid. I'd say about four to five inches. So we're going to tie our simple loop knot like so. Then, I'm going to take a size 6 aggressor hook, which is my favourite hook pattern for this rig, and you need to push the loop through the front of the eye of the hook. Like so, and just pull that through. Next step is going to be to take a bait peg and pass that onto the loop. So we've done that. Then we're going to pass the loop over the point of the hook, like so. Then what we're going to do is on the other end of the rig, we're going to tie another loop knot and then trim away the excess. Believe it or not, that is the rig almost completed. We're just going to trim the excess on the loop knot there that we created to begin with. Now, obviously, because this is a rig that you're going to need to use with pop-ups, because that's when it's at its most effective, then you're going to need some weight to counterbalance the pop-up. So, if we grab some of the JK Anglin Putty, then we can mould some around the knot of the loop that we created to begin with. Now how much you put on there obviously depends on sort of the, the buoyancy of the pop-up you're using and what size so it's just a case of a bit of trial and error there. I'm then going to take my pop-up and screw it onto the bait peg and that is it. A very effective rig made in next to no time. Third one. Isn't it? There we go. Whoops. A lovely autumn common from Rochford Res. Caught using the multi rig that we just tied up a minute ago. Put 
this one back. <laughs> 